Okay, now we're going to go in <coughs> and explain how the list page works and how it corresponds to the Hire Fleet page. Let's open up the list page and have a look. As you can see, the list page is made up of various headers here. Description, hiring, company hiring, and signatories, service status. These all relate to the Hire Fleet, where they have columns for description, company hiring, sorry, and service status, and of course, signatories is actually this one. Okay? What will happen here is if I click on here on signatories, a drop down list appears. Uh, sorry, a notice appears. Click on the arrow to the side of it. Wait a minute, let's move down here. Let's maybe clear here. Click an arrow to the side of it and watch what happens. You now have a drop down list with a scrolling bar at the side to move up and down. So let's say you're I want to put that signature in there. Click on there and that's put in for us automatically. We don't have to write it in. There's a reason for doing this which will be explained in a short while. Anyway, let's say you want to add a new name to this this, this drop down list. Well, you can't do it in here. You have to go to the list page. Go to the list page. Go to the signatories and add someone's name, whatever, anywhere on here, anywhere in this blue area. Don't go past the end signatories part. So you can put anyone's name in there. <coughs> Same for the hiring company. Put the company's name in there. Keep it inside the blue area. As you can see, descriptions. We've already got some descriptions in here already, which relate to the Hire Fleet. See, if I go to the Hire Fleet, go to Descriptions, click on Descriptions. Oh. One minute, I have to scroll this back to its home base. I do it again. Here we go. We can pick on these. Again, if you need to add to these, go back to the list page and enter them in. Now, there's a reason for doing this, and it's all to do with how to search for something using the sort filter.